So we are seeing the iris. There are one or two small crypts. Thank you. But none large enough to interest me. So we go back to the original place where the iris stroma is slightly thinner than normal. That's fantastic. We are using a power of 3.2 millijoules. And after the first YAG shot, a small PI is created. Under higher magnification, we can see the pigment and the aqueous from the posterior chamber floating into the anterior chamber. I think it's better to enlarge it slightly. So one more shot or so should be enough. So now we have an adequate sized opening and let's move on to the left eye. Oh, you're absolutely A1 fantastic. So we have a small crypt in the left eye which is opened up with the uh, first shot of the AG laser. The same power settings are used, 3.2 millijoules. As it's very small, I try to enlarge it. So I'm extending it by uh, yagging the right hand side wall of the same opening. Often I find it is better to complete the YAG in two different settings. Make an initial opening, see them again a week later and if necessary enlarge it.